Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If by chance this is your first time just dropping by, let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journaling, junk journal related projects and the occasional vintage trash hunting. So today I have loads on my desk. Yes, um, I have a project in mind that I want to make. And this was totally inspired by Marguerite Miller. Marguerite um, did a video the other day about a Xena. What's a Xena? How you make one? I did one previously earlier this year. I mean, February or March or something like that. I haven't done one in a long time. And perhaps many of you haven't done one. So let's start making one. Let me show you the Xena that I made earlier this year. Here's one I made earlier. Yes, uh, you know, I'm a little bit of a rebel. There's not supposed to be a closure on a Xena. No, uh, neither uh, does it need to be sort of glued together. Uh, you'll find out what I mean when we're going to make one. So I made uh, a sort of black and white one. Yeah, with this, this uh, theme was Victorian bicycle or car. or any, Well, you know, transportation. In Victorian times, I guess. So yeah, I made this. Uh, and also put in a pocket. You don't need to put in pockets. and You're not even supposed to put in pockets. But you know me, I'm like a little bit of a rebel. So I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to be a rebel. Well, maybe. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to stick to the sort of real plan. So a Xena is a small booklet that you make from one page. And then everything you put inside uh, has to have, well, it doesn't have, have to have uh, a certain theme. But, you know, that's what they're supposed to be like. So that's what I'm going to do today. Now, for the supplies, you need a, an A4 sheet. Yes, mine is brown. I have, I have a whole pile of these. Uh, and there is a reason why I have chosen this one. I will tell you later once once we do the folding and such. So you need an A4 sheet. No, you don't need to have a brown one. Just, you know, use a white one. <clears throat> then I have some background papers. You know, I love these. My, uh, like, music, numbers, German font, some handwritten papers. Beautiful background papers. Now, the inspiration for this Zine came from Cathy Holden's Flea Market Finds. This one. I like it. I'm going to use it today. Yes. And there is a page in here that I really like. Well, yes, I like and I don't. <laughs> um, this is all about fishing and camping, hunting and lumberjacks and what have you. Um, I love the image on images on here. I really like this sort of style. However, I am not a fisher, hunter, lumberjack camper at all <laughs> so i have no um clue how this will work out but i i really like the images and then i went through my own stash and i found some images that might you know work well with the sort of theme like this big old deer and some fishies i have some an advertisement piece with something fishing and i have a gentleman he's probably going camping or hunting i've even have a lady hunting now guys in advance let me tell you i do not sort of promote hunting or fishing or what have you i just want to do something like this i'm not like go hunting go fishing go camping don't go camping i mean all the animals there no thank you so um that's for the paper now i'm just going to use regular glue stick i am going to use uh probably a tearing ruler don't know exactly if i'm going to do that a normal ruler, you need scissors. I'm going to use a, a Stanley knife or an X-Acto knife or something like that. I probably will do some inking. I don't know. And for sure, I'm going to get out my bit, bits and bobs and maybe some washi tape, some stickers, definitely some labels. <clears throat> but that's it uh, for now. You need uh, an A4 sheet. Yep. You need background papers and you need focal points and glue. That's what you need. Let's get started with the base. Okay, for the folding. The folding is rather simple. Yes. I'm going to turn my page this way and fold it together. So I'm going to fold the page in half. Make sure it is straight. The lines and the ends are meeting. Yep. Just folding it. Opening it up again. And then I'm folding it 
uh, lengthwise or you know this way around again be sure to have all your ends meet up flipping it over is this straight yes it is <clears throat> now what you need to do is fold this end all the way to the middle yeah to the middle sort of fold that you made like so again have it as straight as possible guys if you start out making straight lines you will have less problems later on i'm using my sort of bone folder to get this straight and there you go and then the other side as well if you want a, ex a, a better explanation sure you uh, go watch margaret miller's tutorial it is fantastic i am however going to do it a little bit different than she does not really but uh, well I'm, I'm, i need to do it my way so lots of folds yes now we're going to fold the whole thing open again <clears throat> and here is where I'm going to stray a little bit from Marguerite Miller's uh, tutorial. What Marguerite did was fold this in and then, oh, she made a beautiful sort of uh, uh, this shape. Yes, she said Z and I'm like, it's an M for Marguerite Miller or Margaret, which is me. Yeah, <clears throat> so what she did was took scissors and then cut a sliver off here between this point and this point uh, as you know as you may know i am rubbish with scissors mine is going to be like da -da 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 -da. so i'm not going to do that <clears throat> what i am going to do is mark the point here yes this sort of uh where the folds meet on this point and on this point here why because my eyes are also rubbish <clears throat> also guys i am having a slight cold i don't know if i mentioned it uh, already so i am a little bit coughing and um, and sniffling and sniffling so what i do i take my knife and a ruler and then cut along this line from this point to this point We just need to open this up yeah now when we pick it up it will look like this so i'm gonna uh, fold these points in just the middle and make like a ducky face wah, wah. i'm sorry i'm having i'm having a laugh today yep and then you just pull them together and this is how your xena will appear now you need to fold the pages but that isn't always very easy to do so let me show you how i do it i'm starting again with this part because that went too fast you pull these together like so yeah and then you sort of fold everything in like so as you can see this is not lining up can you see that so we need to sort of maneuver that and that happens every time to everyone no matter how straight you have folded and cut everything you need to adjust it and also it's not going to be a real big problem if it doesn't really, really line up. It'll be fine. It won't explode or anything. So this is going to be page one, our cover. And then this is going to be a page. This lines up nicely. And then this is going to be a page. And then the last one, which will be the back cover. Now you can have um, uh, have openings on the top or the bottom. That doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Now let me tell you tell you why I'm using brown paper. Because however way you fold it, it will al always sort of flap open on some points. It will, unless you're a rebel like me 
and I've glued all the pages down. So I've glued these two down and I glued this down here and here and here, but you're not supposed to. I'm using brown because if this will sort of fall open, you won't see white white because I just don't want it to, have to be white. That is the whole reason why I'm using the brown paper and because I have lots of brown paper. So why not? Still not really happy with how this falls, but we'll get there. We'll get there. So yeah, this is the base for the Zine and you will now have um, a cover, page one, two, three, four, five, six, and the back cover. Yeah? And at this point, again, I'm straying from the original plan, well, Margaret Miller's plan or the Zine com Commission, I don't know. <laughs> The people who have invented this. What you're supposed to do is fold everything open again. Yeah. Then number the pages. And then collage like this. This one and this one. And then this is going to be upside down. That to me is very confusing. To me, left, right, up, down. It confuses me. Um, I am not going to do that. Also, what I'm not going to do. Then you need to decorate it and scan the whole thing. And then print it out and then use that as a, well, the zine that you hand out to friends, people, whatever. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to make one zine. I'm not going to scan it. I'm not going to gift it. It's just going to be my zine. So let's just see. Let's fold it again. There you go. Yep. 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 No, that's the other way around. See? Still doing it wrong. There you go. Yes. So I'm going to decorate page by page. I'm going to start with the cover, open this up, um, uh, decorate this whole bit, decorate this whole bit, this and then the back cover. Yeah. So, yes, I'm a rebel. I know I'm a rebel. Let me get my beautiful papers. I'm first going to do all the backgrounds. Um, I'm going to fold it open. So this is the front cover and the back cover. So I'm going to make a background piece on here. And then I'm going to decorate it later. I'm going to use all these lovely, lovely papers like this. It's very, very smudgy, but I love that. I really love that. Now, you can use your tearing ruler, scissor, or normal ruler. I'm going to use a normal ruler for this. And I'm just going to glue this piece on. Do we have a glue page? We do. There you go. So, while I'm collaging, doing this... I have a small update. Some of you uh, may have noticed uh, there's a video missing. When I uploaded yesterday's video, and then at the upload screen uh, appeared the video from last Friday. And it was uploading. I was like, what? That's already on there. It's been on there for three days. So I said, cancel upload. And uh, yeah, I should not have done that. I don't know why that happened. I have never seen anything like that happen before. I don't know any of it. And... Well, uh, I checked and yes, it took away the video. It was the video of the corset um, sort of opening, closing page. The cutesy one. The cutesy one. So, um, well, I was in complete panic, of course. I'm going to do a little piece of map. from. Oh yeah, I'm going to do this piece. I was in complete panic. What? And my husband, who is like an IT guy, uh, but doesn't know anything about you know um youtube and such uh so we tried some things and was like well i'm guessing we have a problem so not happy about that at all i want to have this over here but something peeking out underneath like music paper yeah yeah so um i contacted youtube there's a support thing that you can you know contact and there was this lovely person uh, that helped me. I believe it was a person and not a robot. But you, you never know for sure when you do like a chat session on a website. Could have been a robot. Um, but it's probably, it was probably a person. Is that nice at all? Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> then... Um, 
yeah i needed they needed information of course and uh, what was the url of your video i don't know <laughs> and then my husband said well i can find out so he found out and uh, well they started searching can i put you on hold yes please put me on hold and they put me on hold a lot of times so i was like Whoa. well i've lost all hope at that point and i was like well you know i tried and um uh, Things happen for a reason, I guess. Um, and then the person said, um, I'm going to continue this via email. And uh, we'll let you know within 24 hours. And they were so, uh, so lovely. Let's say um, it was a person. And then I believe it was a lady. I don't know. Because let's say her name was Jin. J-I-N. And I do have... Um, a Chinese friend that's her name is Jin so it could be but I could be mistaken could be a, a guy another piece of this you want to have it like so do we want to yes we want to so yeah and then this morning uh, I got an email that yeah they found my video yay but then I needed to fill out forms I could not see any form but okay, I sort of admitted that yes, this is my video and I agree that YouTube will sort of uh, post it again or something like that. I don't know. They had some legal issues, of course. So I answered that one. Hopefully I did it correctly. Do not know for sure. I'm just flipping it over because, you know, you can. That is not a problem. Yeah. Page one. Well, this is actually going to be um, the front cover and the back cover. Already love it. Let's go. Page two. I'm not going to change it up a lot because I want this to be like a story that you tell about fishes and hunters somewhere. Yeah, so hopefully by the end of the day, um, I will have my video up again. And... Um, it's not that I'm like, oh no, that was the best video I ever made. No, not at all. <laughs> really, no. Um, but why I did so much to get it back. Because a lot of you guys commented on it. And I really, I really hope the comments will be there uh, when, it, when it's back. I hope so. Otherwise, I really, yeah. I'd be sad again. So hopefully all the comments will be on there again. Let's see, I want to have some sort of numbers, writing. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I posted sort of a, um, on my community page yesterday that the video was lost. I believe I answered all the comments on the video, but it could have been that I didn't. Because, you know, I was away for the weekend and during the weekend I didn't uh, answer any comments because I was on vacation, sort of. Oh, now I've seen the back side. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to do the back side. Oh, can you imagine? I was so tired from our vacation and uh, did a video and then... I uploaded it and I, th I thought, oh, I'm going to go to bed, have a nap, sleep for a couple of hours. And then that happened. So then you had to concentrate on what you were doing then. Contacting YouTube and such. And my English is okay. Um, I, I not like from, I don't know how to speak in English. But then you, know, you have to be really careful what you say. So... Needless to say, I was a bit, bit stressed out yesterday. <laughs> Not even a bit, like a whole bunch. I was completely stressed. But then you do what you can do. And I think it, I did it the right way. Don't know yet. It's not back yet, the video. So. If it doesn't come back, guys, I am sorry. I am sorry. But it will give me a reason to make, uh, in a couple of months' time, a video similar to that one. Do we want some more music? Well, we have a piece here. That's fantastic. We're just going to put it on. 
And it says number two. I love that. So yeah, that was issue number one. I have another issue, guys. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, you know, when it rains, it pours. Great. I'm going to fold this one in again. I should let this dry uh, because otherwise it will sort of wrinkle a little bit when you fold it. So I'm going to put my ruler against here. Hopefully that will work. <clears throat> I'm going to have this one on here. Yes, issue number two. I have a freebie. You can still ask for the freebie of Thelma and Louise. Yeah. Apparently, I have two versions of that. The version that I didn't like, and then I scanned it again. And that's the version that I used um, to make the project. The version that I didn't like did, and I forgot all about that, miss a piece of uh, Thelma's elbow. Yeah. Um, so two of you lovely ladies sent me an email that said, uh, well, she's missing a part of her elbow. And I'm like, um, what are you talking about? There's an elbow here. So I thought, well, maybe your, your uh, settings are wrong on your printer. Maybe you should like uh, uh, fit the page. I, I sometimes have that problem where my printer is not really what I want it to be. I'm going to have it like so. Yeah. <clears throat> so I told the ladies, uh, well, try fit the page. Maybe that will work. And um, well, with the first one, I told her that. And then the second one, and I was like, wait a second. Ooh, is there something wrong? Yes, there's something wrong. So I sent all of you ladies, my apologies, uh, the wrong uh, copy, the wrong scan. <laughs> yeah. And uh, believe me, there were a lot of you. So I immediately starting started to send out um, the scans that were a lot better than the one that I sent out. Yes, have a freebie. Why don't you? And then it's rubbish. See, all things that I sent you are rubbish. No, they're not. <laughs> so yeah. So and then I, I do have to do that all by hand. You know, <laughs> I was busy all morning. I'm not. I'm not really done yet. Well, by the time you see this video, it's probably done. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. And land. And uh, it's supposed to be Finland. Finland. Mm, I don't know. It's probably going to be covered. I like this better, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like you're my friends and I'm complaining to my friends. Oh, life is so hard. No, it's not. No, it's really not. Life is fantastic. There you go. Uh, and, uh, well, uh, music. And I'm using up scraps. Well, sort of scraps. Nice. Sure it is. Of course it is. There you go. Are we almost there? We are almost there. See, it keeps flipping up. There you go. Last one. Doesn't say anything. Well, I can use this for backing of something. Oh, we have one of these. Yes, let's. Let's just use this one. So yes, um, it's still sort of our vacation. Not really. I mean, we went somewhere, but the, my husband is off all week. So we're going, going to do some nice stuff again tomorrow. And that means because I was so disappointed in all the thrift shops in Limburg. I really want to find some treasures. So we're going to my favorite one that is sort of nearby. Oh, which which side? Guys, which side? This one, right? More right hand, yeah. Come in. There you go. 
Do we need a piece of map? Well, I think we do. I think we do. I'm gonna have it like so. Oh, why not? Let's just put it on all the way. There we go. Estland. Tiny piece here. Let's be adventurous and do music, really? Yeah. We haven't used that music before. No, no, no. Well. Looks nice though. I'm gonna do it like so. Right. Well, that's for the collaging. And I have sticky fingers now. And we already did the back. Perfect. Guys, I'm going to let it dry and then we're gonna start decorating. So here's what it looks like now. Yeah? Uh, I'm still I'm still I am sorry guys I don't I don't like this I just don't that's the reason why I glued it down so I am basically sort of gonna glue pieces down <laughs> these flaps like so and while I'm doing that maybe we can ju adjust it a little bit so it also sort of looks a little bit a little bit better yeah you're not supposed to do this no you're not supposed to this already glued down. Let's do this. And this one. I'm just putting a little bit of glue in. So that it will sort of hold. Yeah. But again, you're not supposed to do it this way. And if you are doing it this way, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> no. I don't tell anybody. Certainly not. The Zine Police. Okay, well, you know, it's glued down now. I am much happier. So let's start decorating. Yep, I am going to start um, with the cover. And I really love this one. Yeah, these are stickers, I believe. They are. And I'm going to have them folded over to the back as well. Like so. Yeah, that looks great. I'm not going I'm not going to stop on one page. I'm just going to put stuff on and then go through it again and again. Just, you know, until I th I say it's done. <laughs> I'm just going to put all these sort of stickers on first. Made in Belgium. Okay. Oh, these are matches. These are uh, as advertisements for matches. Yeah, I have one over here. What about over here? Lumberjack's Choice. Okay, Lumberjack's Choice. I'm going to put you over Finland. No, I really like, like this Roman numeral over here. So I'm going to put it over there. Yes, Estland is Estonia. I was thinking, I've never heard of Estland. No, because it doesn't exist, huh? It's called Estonia. Blossom something. Blossom something. Okay. It's a carbonated beverage. So, it's lemonade. Oh, I love that. And we already have something on the back. So, I'm going to go to the front again. I really want to see if I can put the deer somewhere. Like so. Oh, I really like that. Oh, let's put the deer on Finland. Aren't they like from Finland or Estonia? I'm going to choose Finland. Oh, I do like that. But I want something underneath. That says what? That says um, this. Maybe this. We could do that. Or a bear or a squirrel. No, I'm thinking this one. Let's do this one. There we go. The 
only inking I'm going to do is all around it after I'm finished, I guess. I'm not going to ink every piece. Finally using this big deer. Oh, I already love this one. This will be in a in a sort of crease or fold. So hopefully it will stay. What's wrong with your leg? Let me fix it for you. There you go. See? I'm a vet as well. Yep. And what's with the next pace? Will will you be okay, dear? <laughs> My dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm guessing so. What are we gonna have on here? The sort of gentleman? Or the big fishing lure advertisement. The lady hunter. No, she's too small. Or the big fish. Big fish? Sure. Um, does it say anything other fishy? Is there any fishies on here? Let's do the rabbit. I'll have this underneath. Oh yeah, that looks okay. Looks okay. There you go. Oh, I like it. You like it? I like it. And I'm using the fishy th fishies. I had so many fishies. Oh, this is going to, to wrinkle. I'm, I'm certain of it. That's why you need to make copies. So it doesn't wrinkle, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why you want to make copies. Shall we put the gentleman like on the back or on the front? But it doesn't look like he's going fishing. No. Uh, maybe not a fishy. That's an up it's an upside down fish. Let's have a fish that swims this way. Two fishies on the front. Then everyone will think, oh, this is about fishing. Well, sort of. I'm just going to have another advertisement piece on here as well. I'm going to have this over here. And then the fishy. Yes. And you can also do some stamping. I think I will. Don't know exactly what yet, but I'm I probably will. I'm gonna cut this off. I'm not gonna flip it over. Let's see. We need to put the gentleman somewhere, don't we? Yeah, let's put him over here. Or here. Oh yeah, he's going going camping. Yeah, that's cool. I'm thinking I want to put something underneath. Oh, maybe some of my new washi. Let's do some of the red. Fragile, handle with care. Okay. Oh, this, it's a, a washi again with the backing. Something they do now. I don't really know if I like this. My fingers are too gluey for this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take it off like so, but you need I need to remove the backing as well. Oh yeah, I do like the effect. You like it? I do. I do. Oh, I like this one a lot. Maybe we can do it somewhere else. We need something over here still, don't we? Yeah. Bait or... Some scenery. Oh yeah, that looks lovely. I'm gonna add some stamping for sure. Are you okay, dear? <laughs> I really should have left this to dry, but you know. 
Um, I really would like to have some more of the washi, but these are sort of the same colors. There's hardly any red in here. So maybe we could do some green. Do we have some green? Oh, I have some of this map. Oh, that may, might work. Where? In the corner? I do not want straight edges on here. So I'm just going to put this in the corner. Like so. Cut the rest off and maybe reuse these pieces. Let's see if we can find a spot for this. Let's see. That's upside down. Does that matter? Okay. Uh, we had another piece. Something in the corner. Yep. Um, what is it that we still have? Well, fishies, for sure. Again, that's an upside down fish. Or the lady. We could do the lady. But she needs something underneath. I'm gonna put this. An axe. Yes, very feminine. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on here and then the lady on there. Yeah. Little piece of fragile. Something tells me this lady isn't fragile at all. Otherwise, she wouldn't go hunting. Great. Almost looks like something, right? Yeah, I really love this with the deer. Uh, I think I want to do some stamping and maybe some labels. For labels, I am going to use Sandra's labels. Yes, these are sticker labels. If you haven't seen my video yesterday, my whole video, you have not seen the wonderful stickers, the labels that I received from my friend Sandra over at Old Made Awesome on um, Instagram. I will link her shop once below. She has a shop and that makes these stickers. Yes, these are label stickers. You need to cut them out still, but you know, that's okay. It's therapeutic. <laughs> Let's just say... It's like therapy. Yeah, and they are very, very cheap. Very, very... Yeah, you, you see me use these all the time. So, yeah, uh, go buy her stickers. Yes, shameless sort of plug for Sandra. Uh, and because I had so many new ones, I thought, why not use up some old ones? So, I'm using them up, Sandra. And she told me this morning she is already making some new colors. So, I'm very sort of curious of what those colors are. And I have seen a question already. Does she ship to Canada? Uh, I think the only sh um, place sh she doesn't ship to. That's a whole lot of shit. Sh sh uh, is the moon. <laughs> no, she ships everywhere. So, you know, all, no matter where you are in the world. She will ship them to you. And they can be sent just in an envelope. So shipping isn't that expensive. I recommend um, not buying one sheet. But buying a couple of them. I would buy all of them. Yeah. That's what I normally do. If she made, uh, makes new ones. I buy almost every color. Unless I still have the color uh, available. In my sort of own stash. Oh, aren't these lovely? I do love them. It's not like, fun. Well, well, you know, I need to sort of... Um, Sponsor Sandra. No, she is a friend of mine, but I really do love these stickers. <laughs> well, you've seen me use them all the time, so you know I do. They are just lovely, and these colors go very well with the theme. I do want a bigger label here. So um, that's why I'm taking out Tracy, I guess. Or do we still have something left here that will look nice? Can we do part of this? 
Yes, I'm going to part of this. Um, what part are you doing? I'm just going to stick it on there and whatever is left will probably put somewhere else. Well, there was a piece of map here. You cannot see it at all. I do not want to cover number two, of course. Yep. Can we flip it over? No, that won't look nice. That won't look nice at all. But I do want to see if we can sort of repurpose this bit. We could do it here. Do it on the back somewhere. No. I don't think these will work with the fishies. No, well, we're going to do it over here then. Are you going to cover this? I don't want to cover camp. Oops, these are not washi stickers, love. No, well, apparently they are not. No. Okay, some glue it like so. And then I have one more piece left. No. Are we going to be stuck with one piece? No, I think this will work. Yes. I'm sorry. I was very indecisive there. I'm going to have a green label here. Are you? No, I'm going to have it there. Perfect, we had some fishies. I was thinking, I know this is a bear, it has not. Oh no, I was going to do the bait. Bait says something about fishies, right? Yeah. I don't know really, I'm not a, you know, a fisher. Let's do another fishy. Yeah, with a label. I also have this one. Yes, I'm going to do that. Here's one, and then the fishy. I got a couple of suggestions for the Rolodex um, alphabet for the letter I. Uh, I saw uh, Igloo and Ice Storm. I don't know how to portray an Ice Storm. <laughs> um, and the one I'm probably doing is Ivy. That was a very good one. So thank you. I forgot the name. I'm so sorry. But I thanked her in the comments. That was a brilliant suggestion. Ivy. I have an, a die cut, I believe, um, with Ivy. So I can do something with that for sure. It was a hard one, that letter. Well, I could, I could have done another country like Ireland or what's another? India. But to do all countries, um, that wasn't sort of the plan. Yep. Does this need a label somewhere? Well, why not the red one? Because, well, there's already a red one over here. Yeah. Or this one. Annual banquet. No. Um, I'm going to do some stamping. For stamping, I'm using a Tim Holtz set. You might have this one because this has been around for a couple of years. I had the fake one from Ali's Express, yes. Uh, I have the real one now, so I'm really happy to have this one. Uh, it is still all sort of stuck together, so bear with me. But I do really want to use this one because it has some lovely, lovely stamps on here. I'm very familiar with this one because I've had that one for years. So hopefully, yes, it works. I'm just going to put some, you know, numbers on here in, I'm going to use some green. This is forced moss. Hopefully there's still some ink in here. These are 
sort of old. And I'm just going to put some stamps on the blank spots. Yeah, that looks nice. I think I want another color green though. This is too sort of mossy for me. Too messy? No, too mossy. I have forest green. Well, it's forest green. It's an old one from Stazon. I'm going to use the same stamp again. That's okay. I'm going to have it. Oh, this one over here. Yes, much better color, much better color. I also want to have something over here and I'm thinking to have half of this circle on here. And then I would need to have something underneath. Yeah. I'm being very good at putting the ink to the stamp and not the other way around. I think it's a lot more work, but I admit it works better. It does work better. Cute. Oh, I love this color. This color is so fantastic. Well, with this project. I'm going to have another one. Yeah, why not? Are you going to be good? I'm going to be good. I'm going to do it like so. Number two, or number, that's two times numbers next to each other. I'm going to do it like so. Yes. Fantastic. One more, just one more. Another sort of round one. The difference between the, the fake ones and the real ones, well, the real ones are much nicer. Um, they're much sort more crispy. Yes, uh, and they're bigger. They're slightly bigger than the fake ones. Love it. We already did a stamp here. I'm going to do another one. I really love this idea. We're going to fold it open. Oh, yes. Will that work? No. <laughs> no, it won't. It's too bulky. I'm going to have it like so. I am, however, doing this. Yes, almost, almost like the real thing. Oh, see me being a rebel again. Yes, I'm sorry. This is way faster. Way faster. Am I at all in frame? I'm sorry, guys. So the cover is done. This one is done. Now for the deer. Hello deer. I'm gonna have another sort of circle bit over here. Yes. Then a number. Apparently a number there. I'm just going to find sort of the blank spots or spots that need a little bit of color, like here. So I'm going to have this number over there. Yeah. There. Sure. Yes. And the number. And this number. That's it for this page. Oh, it did back. Did we do everything? Here, 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 here. Oh, yeah. Oh, are we done? I guess we're done. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to ink all around it. Yes. And then we're going to look at the end result. Here it is. 
I tweaked it a little bit. I added a couple of things more. Um, on the front, I added this one because it had two sort of red elements and I was missing a third one. And I absolutely love this tape. So I put another piece here. I inked all around it. It looks way better, right? Yeah. And then over here, I added something over here to sort of repeat the circle pattern we had going here. Yeah. And uh, another red element. Red, red, red. Three red elements. This didn't have any sort of red elements in them, so I kept it as is. Did not add anything. No. No, because the deer is like the biggest focal point. Again, inked all around it and added another red element over here. So again, it has three red elements with the big fish on here. And on the back, um, I did, did I add this already? I don't know. So yeah, there's some red here. I was thinking maybe I need uh, another piece of red, but there's some red lines here. So, you know, it works. I am itching to put a closure on it. Just, you know, tie it up with something. But, you know, I already did it with that and I'm such a rebel. So yeah, no, no close, closure on it. So I love it. I really like it. I was thinking, why is this way bigger? That's because I made this one from a big index page from a, a large atlas. So that is why this is way bigger and looks more like a booklet that way. So this is it. Uh, it is my take on a zine. Yes, so not a zine at all. <laughs> but let's just call it that. I really liked it. I loved um, the stickers that I've used from Kathy Holden. And it's something different. I mean, it's not cutie patootsie. It's not flowers and fairies. It's fish and, you know, a hunter and uh, a bear and a deer. So, I liked it. Guys, I hope you liked it. Um, if you want to make a Xena, go watch Marguerite Miller. <laughs> or try, try it my way. <laughs> That's also all right. But honestly, uh, she does a way better job. But for me, it's like the process, not like the outcome. It doesn't need to be perfect all the time. No, because life isn't perfect. Guys, thank you, for having, uh, thank you for hanging out with me today. I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. I think it is going to be a uh, Rolodex alphabet. But don't know. I do not know for sure. But it will be on here this week. Um, don't worry if you um, have requested uh, Thelma and Louise in the last 10 hours. In that case, you already got the fixed one, not the old one. But just look at your scan. If you're missing an elbow on the right hand side and I have missed you, please send me an email and I will send it to you again. I'm so sorry for the confusion, guys. I will see all of you hopefully tomorrow. Bye.